basically, here we've got one of the, uh, the SSTP, the Scottish Shark Tagging Programme's tags. It's a four digit ID number at the tail end of the tag. There's a website address and a postal address to send the data back. At this end, which is the end that goes into the fish, you've got a plastic barb, which acts as the anchoring point into the flesh. This is the cannula we use, which is basically a hollow metal tube with a sharpened end. The tag fits nicely in there until it's lying nice and smoothly inside the cannula there. At an angle facing back, if the head of the fish is here and the tail of the fish is here, so facing back along the fish to make it as hydrodynamic as possible, gentle pressure until it bursts the skin, push under, give it a little twist to lock the tag, and you would draw. And that's effectively your fish tagged. And that ID number is assigned to the data set for the fish, so we'll always be able to compare the data to each other. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah. Oh, I like just washed my wing. Ooh. There you are. Here, See, your hands get cold, that's the idea. Yeah. Down there, John, are you good? Yeah, this one's got lots of good markings. Hey, hang on, I'll take you run off the If you go shh, 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 they just seem to flop. I don't think it is that, it's just, it's just always seems to time it, right? A lot of species of fish, if you hold them upside in, they just... Yeah, these guys don't do it, it's uh, one of the biggest sharks. It's the wee ones are like, the wee ones are like they Here, I'm just taking a small fin clip, which I'll wait to use for some DNA analysis. Hopefully, gauge populations. 